Masson's coverage of the 2023 winter meetings is brought to you in part by your Washington area Toyota dealers. For legendary safety and reliability, choose Toyota and let's go places. We're joined now by Nats manager Davey Martinez and Davey, I'm checking out this outfit <laughs> and I'm a little disappointed only because I was expecting cowboy boots and maybe even a hat. I mean, well, this is your home territory. Okay, hold on a second. I did have cowboy boots on, but because they told me how to walk all over the place, I decided to just go tennis shoes. But you might see him. You might see him on. This, this is, is the wrong facility to wear cowboy <laughs> boots in as much as around here. That's fair. Yeah. 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 So we'll let it slide for today. But <laughs> later this week, the Nats fans want to. <laughs> uh, Davey, as you look back on the 2023 season, what improvements out of your young players are you most proud of? You know, I, I, the way they competed. I, I really am. I mean, they. Uh, they gave they gave it their all all year long and uh, and they got better you know and uh, the progress was definitely there and I was, I'm excited about moving, moving forward uh, and getting the spring training with them but you know all in all when I think about what transpired um, I saw a lot of young kids with a lot of confidence now uh, and that means a lot going moving forward. Now, when you take a leap up like you guys did last year, there's going to be a lot of motivation to try to take that next leap and that's a big one, as you know. How do you keep everyone's mind focused on? not obsessing over how hard it is to take that next big step. Yeah, you know, for me, and, and I've said this for many, many years, it's about winning your day, right? About going 1-0 today. Let's focus on it now. And, uh, it couldn't be more true than, than coming up this 2024. Where they're all going to be hungry. They all feel like they get really, they're getting close. They're close. You know, we could compete. A couple of teams made the playoffs with, you know, 80, 84 wins. Um, so if we could make another jump like we did, you know, it's there, but we got to understand what the process is, and we got to understand that hey, we got to focus on getting better today and winning today, and then and take care of today, and then move on to that next day. So, uh, the, you know, it's there. The pieces are there. We still we still need a lot, you know, some some other things, uh, but the core is here. You know, and and I, and I love that about this this group. A few changes to your coaching staff headed into 2024, one of them being Ricky Gutierrez making the move to third base. What did you see out of him as a coach this year and out of C.J. Abrams as a player in the progress that they made together? Yeah, I mean, C.J., I mean, he helps you tremendously. Um, what I loved about Ricky, he was always engaged in, in every game. Even though he was the infield coach, I mean, he watched everything that went on. And um, when I got to talk to him, I got to, you know, basically interview, interview him. Um, he was spot on. You know, he was really spot on about uh, about the game and what he wanted to do and how he wanted to perceive teaching teach younger players. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm really excited about having full time now uh, and him being over there at third base. So, um, and I can say the same thing about Parra. You know, Parra was in our organization uh, as a special assistant. Uh, I was just waiting for you know for the right time with him when he wanted to engage full time and, and help the young kids. And um, he came he came to me. We talked a lot. And uh, he was ready to make that step. So, uh, you know, with, with those guys and, uh, uh, you know, a really close friend of mine, Miguel Cairo, who um, reminds me a lot of me. He really does. I mean, he's very, uh, very engaged in the game. He loves the game. He's done everything possible in the game. Uh, but he's a student of the game as well. And he's, he's eager to teach and, and uh, also eager to learn, you know, uh, learn from these guys. And uh, so I'm excited about our staff. You're saying you want to stand next to yourself all day in the dugout? Oh, um, bench coach is just no. like you. No, he's very opinionated. So okay. yeah, that's what <laughs> that's what I like about him. How, how much, particularly the two base coaches? I know they're also responsible for defense. Ricky of the infield and Gerardo Parra for the outfield. How much of those moves were made with that in mind about trying to improve what you can do in the field? Yeah, it was definitely a big part of it. Uh, like I said, you know, both those guys played played unbelievable defense. Both those guys, when they played, they understand. Uh, Parra is definitely, he's got so much energy you know, on the field, he's definitely going to help our outfielders. Uh, and Ricky, as you saw already, you know, with CJ, um, he helped him out tremendously. And also with Candy, man, he really helped Candy out a lot. So uh, I'm excited about having those two guys. The other thing is, is I want to do something a little bit different this year with the base running. Because as you said, the two base running coaches, I want them both to, to really teach the base running portion of it. And the, um, and, and the secondary leads and the, and the leadoffs at first, uh, going first to, you know, first to third. So, um, it's going to be a joint venture between those two guys, you know, the signs and everything. So I'm excited about that as well. As far as your roster needs, really similar to last offseason, really. You mentioned just in your media availability that Joey Manessis is going to get time at first base. Do you have any other candidates within the system right now that you think will have the opportunity to compete for infield spots? You know, right right now we got a bunch of young players, as you know. Um, the closest guy right now is Lipscomb. Um, you know, he's doing well. We move, you know, we move positions. He can play some first. 
uh, played second, uh, played third. Uh, so, you know, we're excited about that. I mean, it's just a young, young up and comer. Um, but, you know, this could, it could be possible that we go, you know, outside the system and look for somebody else. We'll see what happens. But uh, like I said, we're, we're just, we're really excited about what we got going on within our organization right now. The young players, the young, younger pitchers that we have. Um, you know, we, we got guys that are scratching on the door right now to get up here. Um, but we got to be really smart and really diligent. I mean, I, I, I can tell you right now, I'd love to have them all, uh, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a little bit more time. So along those lines, we're talking Dylan Cruz, James Wood, oh. Brady House, Trey Lipscomb, Yo-Yo Morales. I assume we're going to see these guys at some point in spring training and you're going to get a look at them. How do you balance wanting to see what they can do and pushing them and trying to get them to the big leagues as soon as possible versus understanding whatever the natural development pace is for everybody? Yeah, we're definitely, we're definitely going to understand, you know, what, uh, what needs to transpire, you know, and, and it's a process. So, you know, I, I know what going into spring training, what we need to do. We're going to get them out there. I want to see them play. I want to get in conversations with them uh, and, and have, uh, get engaged with them and, and get them to understand what we're trying to do as a whole. Uh, have C.J. Abrams around, have K-Bear around him, some of our younger, younger, young, younger uh, players around these guys so that when we do get them, they're prepared and they're ready. So uh, I'm excited. I'm really excited about that. I'm excited about having them and having our coaching staff getting their hands on them as well. I know it's only December, but if you can set one goal for 2024 right now, what would it be? Uh, you know what? The goal should be to continue the progress. really should. I mean, and that's what, that's what I'm looking forward to. You know, go out there and, uh, you know, they learned a lot last year. Um, to, to finish, you know, to keep continue to do uh, do what we did last year towards the end, and continue to get better every day. You said it earlier. You've said it a bunch of times. You don't like losing. It's been several years now of losing. Are you? Do you have it in you to go through that another year, or do you feel like the time has come to start seeing more wins and losses? We're, we're gonna we're gonna start winning. We're gonna start winning. You know, I mean, look, we made we made a, a heck of a jump. Um, and as I said, this is a pivotal year for some of these guys, right? I mean. Uh, yeah, they did have some success. We'll see if they can sustain that this year. Uh, if they can, you're going to see a bigger jump. So, uh, like I said, we're, we're all excited about that. I think they can do it. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. Enjoy the rest of your offseason. Thanks for the time. Hey, thank you. You guys have a good Christmas. Thank you. you too. All right.